How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. Uh, I was hanging out with these nerds, playing around and stuff, and I was just bad at their game. I'll come back there and try those battles again sometime. They're playing some kind of like Warhammer thing. I'm not going to mess around with it right now. Yes, the caretaker's back on duty, so I got that wrapped up. Well, that's certainly good to hear. Those skeletons were a real nuisance. They have a way of getting under your skin. Offer to help with other problems. Oh, thank you. I'd certainly welcome it. And the stolen yeast. Let's do that one. We take our yeast supply very seriously here in Breadwood. And that dang yeasty gang, the, I was hoping they would be like the yeasty boys, made off with the whole lot. A couple of fellas said they saw them loitering around the old brewery. So that's probably where they've made their hideout. We need that yeast back. The old schmaltz brewery. Yeah, that's where I'll head next. I don't know what to do about the post office one. That one, that storyline's getting a little weird. I don't know what to do about Chuck. Uh, more of these things. Just blast that away. Get out of my way. Just give me your scrap. Don't even, I don't even need to fight you. Just give me the scrap straight away next time. You know you're gonna lose. Right, nice of these bandits to hide in a brewery. Yeah, you won't have to go far to celebrate catching them. Whip ourselves up a batch of Busted Outlaw IPA. Uh, we have such a good rapport going nowadays. Cluster of Gin Blossoms. You collect Gin from the Blossoms. You got Blossom Gin. Increases melee damage by 10 for the rest of the day. This is a bottle of liquor made from Northern Gin Blossoms. It's pretty bitter, so it helps to have something sweet to follow it down. The Green Thumb. You're now a greenhorn when it comes to foraging. Gain XP from foraging. Oh, well that's cool. I only had to forage like five things for that to be the case. I don't think you can ever re-forage something though. So like now that I've collected from it, it'll never be back. So there's only a limited number of foraging to be done in the game. So I guess there's that. What the hell? Um, there's a dead guy here. The dead guy's hat got knocked off and covered in yeast. Yeast covered hat. This is a great hat to wear if you and your loved ones absolutely love the smell of dough, or if you don't mind ha if you don't mind it and your enemies hate it. I guess <laughs> I should probably just kill this thing, probably, but it might be really tough. I'm glad I have Bill because you can chip away at its health. It says beer hose. You're not really sure what purpose it might have served. Yeah, I don't put out fires with beer. I guess uh, maybe someone else can like give me a tip or something before I just go barreling into a battle. This feller is too scared to talk to you. He's just totally freaked out about yeast. And it's a beer vat, or at least it's a vat. It is not guaranteed to actually contain beer. Sample what's in it. Ugh, it's almost pure ethanol. Ugh. Can I sample this one? I could just wander right past this guy. Nope, that's false. I can't. So, some kind of crazy yeast monster has apparently broken loose from the vats and eaten some of the bandits. I guess they brewed up something they couldn't put down. They could barely control it. You'll have to hop to it if you want to prevail here. It was put down even itself meant to be a pun? Like, you drink it, you put it down? I don't know. Not as much health as I would have expected. Not nearly as hard to kill as I would have expected. Pretty easy victory. 200 experience? Holy shit. Well, I should probably upgrade Save Kraken. Or do I, I hold out and get better foraging? Save Kraken's probably likely to be more useful sooner. Just kind of on a, a whim of a guess. Uncertain. The remains of the horrible yeast beast. I guess you should take it back to the mayor. It's probably still good, right? Sure. You plop a big old glob of yeast into your pack. A half ton of yeast. This bag contains half a ton of yeast, but it's light enough for you to carry because it's tried. <laughs> What weighs more, a ton of bricks or a ton of feathers? Is that kind of what they're going at? It's a half ton of yeast, but nah, it's basically nothing. So this whole yeast theft biz doesn't seem to have gone well for you guys. Well, no, I... Oh, jeez, are you a bounty hunter? Relax, the mayor just wants his yeast back. He didn't say anything about hauling you in. <sighs> okay, well, the yeast is in that revolting pile. So what happened here? Well, we got bored of bread is all. I know a bit about brewing, and we figured if we came back with a couple of kegs, nobody would mind so much that we stole the yeast. No offense, but it seems like you aren't much of a brewer. Hey. Well, ideally, you wouldn't end up with a ravenous yeast monster. That wasn't my... Okay, well, I guess it was my fault, but I understand what happened. These vats are old, and we didn't clean them properly first, because we were in a hurry. 
I think there's some frogs living in one of them. <laughs> and you figured you could use the extra hops? Ha 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 What a funny joke. <laughs> if you're sure you got it figured out, good enough, I guess. You should, you should set up shop in Dirtwater. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, it's turning into quite a little metropolis. Well, I'd love to have my own place. I'll, I'll go check it out. Take your leave, then. Three cans of beer left. Take them. Three cans of beer on the wall, three cans of beer. Take them all down and put them in your bag instead of singing the rest of the song about beer. <laughs> the can of Smaltz Blue Ribbon. They don't make this stuff anymore. Some people say there's a good reason for that. Increase melee, ranged, and spell damage by 15 for the rest of the day. That's insane. That is such a huge bonus. I... I said that I've been holding out eating too many things and using too many good items until I know that I'm like as good as I can be and not gonna die way more often I'm gonna commit and drink one of these I'm not gonna commit to the pickle just yet because I'm terrified still that I'll die I can risk I'm, I'll risk one of these cans the same way I risk the pickles but I'm not gonna risk too much of it so drink one of them you crack open the can and drink the weak lukewarm beer damn that's awesome. It's so rare that I do things other than, you know, pistol attacks, but it's good to know that the options are there. This guy uh, seems to have been killed pretty thoroughly. He is also doing a, a pretty nice looking pose there. Couldn't interact with these other ones, hey? Oh yeah, I can talk to this guy now that he's probably chilled out. He's Now he's uh, too grumpy to talk to you. He's just angrily muttering about yeast. Arrest him? You're under arrest. For what, stealing about two handfuls of yeast? We let the other guy go, and we told him to go start up a business. Yes. And the sentence for that is, what, about three days in jail? Mm. And Bread Breadwood does actually have a jail? All right, I'll let you off with a warning this time. That was too much logic. That was it? That was the end to pay off of all that? Well, we'll head to Breadwood to collect our reward, and then I want to head back to Dirtwater to see the new thing that the guy set up. Old crate on the side of the trail looks like it's been there a while. Weeds and or cactuses grown up around it, depending on where you got this random event. <laughs> you brush the weeds, cactuses out of the way and help yourself to randomly generated contents. Can of oil, coffee, kerosene, nothing, nothing too special in there. Nothing we haven't seen before. And how, how are you feeling? You pretty stoked to have your yeast back? Happy to help. Any sign of the missing mail? No. That one I don't know what to do. Oh, I thought that was the last... I thought the mail was the last one. The lumber we still have to deal with. Alright, well, you've helped me quite a bit. Uh, so I reckon I can set you up with what you need for that bridge. Oh, that was... I guess I helped out with enough of his things to get the lumber. Thanks, the mayor glances at the list of problems on the wall. The logging permit. There is still one more. But I did manage to get the wood already, which is cool. I guess five out of seven was enough for that. You glance at the problems board. Oh, because it was the whole thing that the board's never gotten more than two or three or whatever without the mayor being run out of town. He just had to get it below that. Uh, the logging permit, then. We're running out of trees around here and need to expand our operation of it. Problem is, we needed a logging permit from the next town, and the whole place up and died before the paperwork was settled. Oh, that's probably ghost wood, then. I guess I'll check it out. That could be cool to go investigate. I gotta go head over to Dirtwater first to go check out my buddy's new new brewery. Could have some cool brews for me over there. And let's see, they, they probably have added new things to the store because of the beer, right? Mm, not there, so maybe not yet. Maybe I gotta check out this first. The Liquid Bread Brewing Company. Makes sense coming from Redwood. Oh, hey, it's you. Thanks for telling me about this place instead of arresting me or shooting me in the head and then arresting me. I guess word's been getting around. Well, you sure did help me out. I really appreciate the opportunity and things have been going pretty well. Not a single yeast monster. <laughs> Yet, he says. What can I get you? Show me your goods. The athletic amber for muscle, for mysticality or for moxie. This fancy microbrew is chalk. Full of vitamins and minerals, so makes your bones stronger as it makes you drunker. You always feel smarter after a few beers, but this fancy microbrew will make you make that especially true. And you were never quite sure how to pronounce Kolsch, but drinking this special microbrew will make you understand that only dorks care about pronunciation. 
Well, I don't actually want any of that, but let's see how that maybe affected some of these other guys. Uh, hey, what can I do for you? I noticed you got a new neighbor. I sure won't complain about being neighbors with a brewery. In fact, I invented these pants with extra pockets to hold beer. <laughs> Show me you're good. Where, where do we have these? The cargo chaps. Extra item finding bonus. That's pretty cool, but I think my own pants are pretty good. These chaps have a bunch of extra pockets sewn onto them to make it so you can carry more booze and things other than booze, I suppose. But I, I, I don't actually need those. What, what am I using for pants, actually? Maybe my pants aren't that great. Armor and speed. Nah, I better hang on to those. If I wasn't in hard mode, then maybe I could get away with something other than that. Well, to Ghostwood, I guess, then? I wasn't really expecting to go there next. Or I could deliver that letter to Roy Bean. Uh, Ghostwood just inherently seems like it's going to be a... There's going to be a lot more to it. Roy Bean seems like it's probably going to be a nice, simple little quest that we can fill into this existing episode here. Out in the open desert among the rocks and dunes and underneath a scorching desert sun, you encounter a chef. That probably doesn't sound all that strange comparatively, but hold on while I go into more detail. He has, somehow, hauled a full-sized iron potbelly stove out into the blistering hot hole and is cooking something on it. Though you can't tell what, because all you see is in the pan is fire. Rather than being drenched in sweat, he's literally steaming. Furthermore, he's mutteringly wildly, wildly to himself. Hotter, gotta be hotter, hot, hot, gotta cook, cook it right through, needs to be hot, 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 hotter, hotter. Scam him out of his meat. Try to calm him down, or fight him, and we'll just scam him. Having trouble with your cook stove? Not hot enough, can't get it hot enough. I see, I, I, I see, listen, maybe I can help you out. I've got this little bag of spices from distant lands. Spices? That's right, see here? Funny how it looks like sand, right? But a couple pinches of this will add an inferno to any dish. No, no, don't taste it, you have to cook it. It'll ruin your tongue for good if you put it in your mouth raw. Please, I must have it must hot. Is this, this isn't even a goblin, this is just a regular dude who's acting all crazy. Sure, I understand, it's rare stuff, but I'm happy to sell it to someone in need. The chef buys your little bag of sand with a frantic gleam in his eye, and you mosey away nonchalantly as he starts pouring it into his slowly melting iron stove. Some, some meat and XP. House of Justice and Jelly Beans. What do you think about that? Jelly Beans? Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Maybe it's just me, but Jelly Beans doesn't sound like much of a hobby. Maybe he's trying to collect one of every flavor? I don't know, Susie, just let the man live. Can't he just live? I'm running in all the cactuses and stuff, looking for things to forage. Uh, is this even hooked up? Flush it in the sea. Yes, it certainly is. Why must pref prefer to perform his morning ablations, ablutions outdoors, perform some of your own? Gussy up a little bit. Well, you can, you can, it's one of the rare places Susie actually comes inside for. Jelly beans, all right, I suppose. Dull, though, ain't a patch on my cinnamon rock candy. Ooh, hot cinnamon? I waterin'. And in shards, you could cut yourself on. Ma figured if we could eat, if we were gonna eat pure sugar, we ought to at least have to put up a fight. <laughs> you have an interesting life. There's a single yellow jelly bean in this case with a sign that says, Paraguayan murder bee honey jelly bean. Very rare, 6,000 meat. What kind of lunatic would pay 6,000 meat for a single jelly bean? Not this kind, that's for sure. Well, I'm awfully curious. I want to know. Turns out it's not the end of the saga of the spittoon. There is another one in here. Howdy there, pilgrim. Name's Roy Bean. Howdy, Roy. I'm the grimy slinger. What do you do here? Well, when I first came to these parts, I was all about two things. Dispensing justice and dispensing jelly beans. I was the biggest name in bounty hunting and candy selling anyone ever heard of. Gosh, what happened? Oh, nothing particularly tragic. God old is all. Hung up my pistol for good. He points at the wall. I, is that the empty pistol there? He's pointing at the empty hook on the wall, over a spittoon. I still sell some jelly beans from time to time, but they're out of fashion. This old place is just a jelly bean museum now. Seems like that sign up front is very accurate then. Well, how do you mean? Well, if you aren't dispensing justice anymore, maybe it should just say museum? I guess you got a point. I found this letter addressed to you. You hand over the letter, he opens it, reads it, snorts derisively, and tosses it into the fireplace behind him. Thanks anyways. What? That was it? For a jelly bean museum? I sure don't see very many jelly beans. Ha! <laughs> Bunch of crooks and shady characters stole them. All three jars. Suppose they think I'm a soft target now that I'm retired? Oh, that sucks. I'll help you get them back. Well, now, I certainly appreciate the assistance. 
can't offer much in way of reward, but I can tell you which way the first group of thieves went if you happen in the direction. The Jelly Bean Thieves Hideout. Well, we'll go and get him. Somewhere nearby, perhaps? Yeah, just right, right there. Not for sale, lack of jelly beans. They can't really sell them since they aren't there. Oh, sorry, still looking. Let me look in your spittoon, though. Nothing special about it. As soon as you get near the spittoon, you can smell the overpoweringly sweet stench it exudes. Nauseatingly sweet like the rotting corpse of a dead gummy bear. Look inside. Garish rainbow colors swirl together in congealing psychedelic madness. Is Roy using jelly beans as chewing tobacco? Yes. Yes, of course he is. We're talking about a bowl of jelly beans that have been sucked on, half chewed, and then spat into a brass bucket. Do you seriously want to put your hand in that swill of artificial coloring and thickened saliva? It'll probably never be clean again. Go for it. Look, I'm serious. You're about to permanently dye your hand with a swirling mishmash of all the worst colors in the spectrum. No one will ever have a tattoo that looks as gross or as stupid. Well, give it to me. You plunge your hand into the spittoon and fish around for a while. Eventually, you pull out a really disgusting pistol and a really disgusting hand to shoot it with. The spittoon hand. Your hand has been permanently stained by the rainbow-colored contents of a nasty spittoon. On the bright side, the hand will never suffer anything worse than that ever again. Holy shit, what is sleaze? I don't think sleaze has happened ever before. Maybe there's like one specific quest where you need sleaze. This befouled pistol better do poison damage like the toilet pistol so I can replace it. It'll probably make a patoo sound when you shoot it. Deal stench damage instead of physical. Oh, shit, I was hoping it was poison. Because I was like, this thing will actually do good damage. And, and I can poison things. That's such a bummer. That's uh, not as good as I hoped it would be. I mean, it's a pretty good pistol, but yeah. Man, I actually find a shitload of pistols. I wonder if you were anything other than, yeah, I, I bet you that's the case. I bet you I only find pistols because I'm a snake oiler. If you were like a bean slinger, you would find wands and stuff. That's my assumption. I think it's a pretty safe bet if you ask me. Uh, that storyline with with the the letters is really just dying here i don't know what to do next with that a goblin is wandering around the path muttering and ranting out loud to itself why not you cramming an entire baguette up your icing funnel wow what go marrying a bagel muffin chucker he must have learned some foul language from the uh, the breadwood guys talk to him finding a guide to human cusses cake sucker <laughs> where did you learn where you did learn a talking like that. Finding a guide to human cusses, cake sucker. And he's just testing them out. The goblin shows you a pamphlet listing a variety of popular profanity. On the back of it, it says, Brought to you by the Breadwood Board of Tourism. Teach them some fake swears. These are weak swearings. Give me the pamphlet. I am teaching you better ones. Ooh, okay. You teach the goblin a number of phrases like, Charming gentleman and have a pleasant afternoon. He doesn't suspect a thing, and the next human he meets will have a much more polite, if puzzling, encounter. The Breadwood Cheat Sheet? This is a handy reference guide to some of the most fashionable profanity mankind has to offer. It goes in your offhand for extra moxie? Okay, I don't know what's in my offhand right now. Oh fuck, I always open the wrong thing. I always open character instead of inventory. Offhand is... 5 pistol damage versus moxie. I'll keep the pistol damage, thank you very much. Ah, uh, yeah, I really don't know what to do with this guy. I'm leaving him behind, I guess. Not going to not going to Ghostwood right now. I'll pick somewhere else random. Reboot Hill maybe. Hold it right there. A bandit steps out of the bushes at the side of the road. He's pretty ragged, but he's also extremely burly, like a scarecrow stuffed with footballs. <laughs> he has a pistol that could be described as a hand cannon without getting metaphorical. Give me your dough or else. Fight. Do you know who I am? The Breadwood Reputation. Ooh, I want to use that. Yeah, I want to, I want to like, swing that around. Now that I've built up that reputation, I might as well flaunt it a little. Do you know who I am? Maybe you should ask the fellas back at the Buttered Biscuit who've been getting things done around here lately. Oh, uh, Slinger, is that you? That's right. The Grimy Killer Slinger. Now, why don't you hand over your gear and next time maybe you'll remember faster. The Intimidating Six Gun. A lot of parts of this gun are way bigger than they need to be. Looks like a few parts are maybe smaller too. It just adds muscle though. It's not really anything, can't really do anything with that. The Curious Abandoned Well. 
That does sound curious. Oh, there's the two curious things, though. Uh, the West Pole. That's that's where I'm going to head next. I'm just making, I'm just picking things randomly. I don't know. There's a deep, gravelly exhalation of breath behind you, and you realize you've been ambushed by a hell cow. Big one, too. Oh, grab that bull by the horns. Bill. God bless you. Wow, I could have killed it anyways. I expect these things to be tougher, and it just keeps working. You make mincemeat out of that walking side of beef. Smoldering leather. Ooh, Susie's stronger. Way to go, Suze. Always happy for you when you get a level up. Ooh, oh, I don't have the foraging yet to do that. Oh, I'm pretty damn close, though. What can I forage? This yucca wants to be further east than it is. This yucca is straining against its own roots. It's a weird pile of weird rocks. Mess with them. These rocks are strange. They don't seem to weigh as much as they should, and they're sort of drawn to each other. You could probably make an interesting cairn out of them. Something suave it is. A cool, a cheeky, a cheeky gesture. You step back and admire your handiwork. Yeah, handiwork. 100 experience, and you got the perk, heavy trigger finger. Your trigger finger isn't fast or itchy, but it is very dense. <laughs> um... I, I just assumed if I made it swap, it would add to Moxie, so that's awesome. Ooh, look at that. No, I don't want to knock it over. Keep that. What about these other ones? Pile of weird rocks? They're strange. They, they're drawn to each other. Something suave. A cheeky gesture. Admire your handiwork. Uh, well, maybe maybe I do something different with all of these. Something powerful. Uh, an impregnable tower. You step back and admire your handiwork. It's quite defensible. The heart of stone. Your circulatory system is partially stone now, which makes your blood even more thicker than water than regular blood. <laughs> oh, for, oh, Jesus, for a second but it was covered there, I thought it was something a little different than, uh, like a rook. Knock it over. I'm building uh, a mysticality thing. Oh, no, I already had that. A mysticality thing, I said. An elaborate orrery. The song of the spheres. You can hear a song singing in your head all the time. It's actually kind of annoying, but extra spell damage. It's immaculate. Whoa, that is pretty damn cool. What else can I do with these, then? I've already done the three things. What if I do a sassy face? Nothing much else to get from that. That's not that sassy, if you ask me. Can I do anything else with this, really? Like, if I just make a bunch of cheeky gestures? It's not that cheeky, really, is it? Uh, well, I got my bonuses out of it. I don't know why is this happening. I it just won't stand up straight. I guess everything's leaning towards these rocks here. Hmm, I am awfully close to being able to get the extra foraging. Oh, no, I got a bunch of experience from doing that, so I have full foraging now. And so, I'm going to forage these things so I can get the stuff from them, and so I can get the extra experience. You do a quick backflip and then make some funny noises by flapping your arm up and down. Oh, because it was the loco weed. Uh, with your hand in your armpit, the loco weed giggles, loosening its roots just enough for you to pluck a handful out of it, out of the ground, and bring it into a little bottle. The loco weed extract. You're just crazy about this stuff. No, wait. I meant because of, not about. <laughs> this item is used in combat. Gives two action points. Cool. Not too bad. Wait, there's that one lone rock over there. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 I got something else other than the floral ring. You found this ring embedded in a plant. You like plants. Makes foraging random encounters much more likely. That's not something I really need. This lone rock, that must be something, right? It must have a purpose. Nothing special about it apart from the fact that it isn't in a pile with the other ones. Examine it. Nothing special about it whispers something to it. What would you like to whisper to this rock? How goes it, rock? How goes? Nothing happens. Whisper something else. Rock. Nothing happens. Hello. Memories. Nothing happens. Pick it up? Oh, it's heavier than it looks. You can't budge it. Weird. Somewhere down the line, I'm sure someone will tell me what it takes to to whisper to the rock, I'll get some kind of clue somewhere. I don't know, maybe I already have had the clue, and I, I I'd have totally, go it's gone over my head. A big crate probably fell off a wagon on its way to a ranch or something, unless maybe it just grew here, wild. You've seen a lot of weird looking cactuses in your travels. Rance punch, rope, laudanum, a lot of it that I could I could go take to, uh, wow, I, El Old Ellsbury. I haven't been to see him in a long time, so I kind of forgot what the hell it was called for a moment there. Whoa, Wander and Sally, I didn't know you were on this side of the mountains. Oh, you bet. I bet you got all kinds of new cool stuff now, don't you? 
I'll, I'll buy up a bunch of things like that. Some needles. To be honest, I was expecting you to have uh, newer, more interesting things. I'm a tad bit disappointed, honestly. I'll buy another lock? I don't know. It might come in handy someday. Well, I was expecting more from that. That was a bit of a, a disappointment, if I'll, if I'll be honest. Let's do three, three wanders? I don't know. Pick a number at random. Oh, jeez. I hope you're a veterinarian because this python you've encountered is sick. Ooh, take it to the gun show. I do want to kill snakes because I want more snake parts if I ever need potions again. Victorious, a bunch of spleens, and the sick python skin. The skin was, until very recently, stretched taut around some giant pulsating snake muscles. It's gross to think about and to look at. Uh, 30 HP. I think the one that I have adds, like, moxie or pistol damage or something. I'm probably going to keep the one that I have. I think it adds moxie. Whoa, there's a sudden thrilling whoosh sound, and a man dressed all in dark gray with a long flappy co cloak and gray bandana pulled up to conceal his face appear before you out of the shadows. He brandishes a wicked-looking knife at you accusingly. Stop right there. Prove your allegiance, for I'll suffer no cultists in this place. Could you be more specific? The necromancer's cultists. The skeleton guy. Show him the black hood you got off that guy. Wouldn't that just show that I'm a cultist? What? Uh, what do I do? Why would I do that? Uh, accuse the accuser? Let's try and show him the hood. I'm curious. Here, see? I got this hood off a cultist I killed. You're saying having a cultist hood proves you aren't a cultist? Well, if I was a cultist, I'd be wearing it, right? That's not... A great argument, but since all the actual cultists I've accused have attacked me by this point in the conversation, I'll let it pass. Well, cool. I've been killing them for their daggers, for the sake of poetic justice. Here, have one. This curvy dagger has a hollow hilt full of poison. These cultists fight dirty. Add poison damage. Neato. Thank you for that. I'm gonna check and see my experience now. I keep racking up experience. What should I put it into? Probably like grit or glamour or something now that I'm looking at it. Extra HP, more pain tolerance, more stomach capacity. Oh man, we're still not we're still a ways away from getting more stomach capacity. Damn it. Well I should probably do glamour next time. That's where I'm gonna leave things off. I'm my I've been talking for a long time. This is like the fourth or fifth episode I recorded in one sitting, so it's really wearing me down. I just got caught up in it. I I've, I've never been bored by this game for even a second. I just keep putting more and more time into it, and I'll, I'll never stop until I'm finished. Glad that I'm no longer just getting my, like, ass handed to me with hard mode, though. Things are coming back around. It's looking good. I think we could actually beat this game on hard mode on a blind run, which is super cool to me, at least. Hopefully to you guys as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.